2024 is here finally. I wish you happy new year to everybody. But my PT score is still stuck. So how to basically pass the PT exam in the very next attempt with a whopping 90 overall in 2024. With all these 10 tips that I'm going to talk about today, you will realize how easy it is to score that 90 out of 90. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nagendra from Skills PT Academic. First of all, I wish you a very happy new year 2024. May your all the dreams come true in this year. So before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, you can WhatsApp us to the number appearing at the bottom of the screen. I'll be there, we will be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right, as told before, we're gonna talk about how to pass PTA in 2024 in the very next attempt or the first attempt with a whopping 90 out of 90. I'm gonna, you know, explain you 10 golden tips. Just have to make sure you watch till then. It's gonna be a short video series. The first tip is um, focus more on speaking. Um, lot many people have this problem in speaking. See, it's a very simple module, correct? We try to impress the software with some exaggeration in our pronunciation trying to stress the words, trying to go very unnatural. Don't do all these things. Right now I'm talking to you. The same way you need to talk to the software. These people don't. And when you don't, the speaking that contributes marks to reading and listening also goes slow. Speaking, reading, listening, completely gone case. Your writing could be 90. Pay more attention. So how to get the speaking uh, 90? Very simple. Fix the pitch issue. This is becoming very prevalent. So many students with a thicker voice, let's say voice is very thick, pitch of 90, 100, 110, you will not get a good score in speaking, reading, listening. This has to be fixed. If you are a guy, it has to be above at least 140 or above 140 and less than 170, 180. You can download voice pitch analyzer application if you are using an Android phone or voice tools, V-O-I-C-E space T-O-O-L-S, voice tools for iPhone. Uh, you can download this pitch apps that I mentioned, click record and speak and see your pitch. If your speaking is 90, no need to worry about uh, the pitch, but if your speaking is less than this, you need to pitch, you need to pitch in and fix this pitch issue. If your voice is thicker, you need to thin it, sharp tone. Market research. Market research, you need to thin it, sharp tone because software loves this sharper tone. This is especially for guys, for ladies with a pitch of 300 and above or less than 140 with a thicker voice, you need to also tweak in and make the pitch between 200 to 260, 250. 270 is also fine. Above 300 means very thin tone. Those people also suffer. That's the first thing. And don't try something new like one line in the read aloud. I'll read only one line because I have problems. There are so many updates happening at the back end of the software. I don't suggest this in 2024. Don't try this. Try at your own risk. Any point of time software may get updated. And this may result in surprising scores to your reading as well. Don't attempt this one line in the read aloud and remember fluency is the boss. Throughout speaking, you need to maintain one fluency. It's like going on a highway in a cruise control mode. 80 kilometer, I will just stick to that. Read aloud 80 kilometer, describe image 80 kilometer, read a lecture 80 kilometer. Repeat sentence we will see in the next slide. Market research is a vital part of the read aloud. Describe image, the given image represents. The given image represents? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Because people are already used to the template. They go like express train in describe image and read a lecture. Same speed as the read aloud. Whatever you get, whatever the speed that you pick up in the read aloud, same thing has to be maintained throughout speaking. Remember, content is never a priority in speaking. Software is not um, strictly evaluating your content or the grammar or the pronunciation. It's the clarity. I don't have an American or a British pronunciation. I always had 90. So it's not the pronunciation at all, it's the clarity. Market research is available, don't do that. Fix the pitch issue, automatically your clarity becomes better than before. Correct, and in read aloud you can skip the words, difficult words, you don't have to worry. Any word that may cause you inconvenience, skip it. So all these are the golden techniques. Try to maintain the same throughout speaking. Whatever I'm telling you is for throughout the speaking module. You do this, definitely you will have a wonderful score in speaking, reading and listening. That's the tip one. Tip two, yes, repeat sentence, very simple. Content is not a priority here as well. So you try to give 100% of the content, you may fumble. Let's say there are 10 words and you try to speak all the 10 words and in doing so, 
you fumble, you become anxious, nervousness, zero marks. In the end, you may finally speak all the words. It is not going to matter for the software. It does not make any difference to the software. All it wants is the fluency and content some 50, 60 percent. To be on the safer side, give some 60, 70 percent. 10 words, 7 words you speak. To speak the 7 words, I will listen to all 10 words. No, listen to 7 words, then only you will be able to speak those 7 words. You listen to 13 words and then try to speak 8 words. It will not be possible. Already here mix and masala has happened by listening to all the words. Then you pick up few, it is not possible. Listen only less, speak less. Do not speak more. Well, if you are capable enough, you know yourself, right? If you think I do not have a problem in 20 words also, then this tip is not for you. You speak perfectly done and dusted. But if I exceed that 8 words, then I fumble, then this is for you. Listen less, speak less. Maintain the fluency, same as the speaker. The pronunciation accent need not be copied. You can go in your own accent, no issues, but maintain the fluency as the speaker, meaning the speed of the speaker should be copied. Please come to the next seminar properly prepared, let the speaker say. And you said, please come to the seminar properly prepared, do not say. You also go in the similar speed, please come to the next seminar properly prepared. Giving ample pauses, wherever speaker pauses, you also give that pauses. Basically mimic the speaker, not in terms of accent, but in terms of fluency and pauses. You will see a wonderful score in your repeat sentence. That means to your speaking and listening. 30 marks will come from repeat sentence towards your speaking and listening separately. Let us go to tip number 3, essay, essay, essay. I write this template, I got less score in writing. Guys, it is 2024, I started my channel in 2018, I have been telling. In 2024 also, I am telling you golden technique. Do not worry about essay. This is a low priority module, but it has template. It has everything that it needs, the looks, the lavish looks, everything, but it is not going to get you scores. <laughs> it is like a suit, suit is valued, but the price of the suit is probably 1 dollar. There are other suits which cost you thousand dollars, you have to focus on them. But this has template. Low priority module, do not have to pay huge attention, do not have to pay someone for the templates. All the templates are readily available in the internet. In my channel, you type PTE, skills PTE templates, you will find. You can use them, but just using it, you will not get writing 90. Essay is low priority, 12 to 15 marks, one question. If there are two questions, probably 20 marks you might get, not 90. So, use any template, you can use my template, I have given in many of the videos, just type skills PTA templates, you will find. But do not assume that I did this, I have to get 90, you do not get, I am just telling you openly. You may get 20 out of 20. Use template and make sure no spelling mistakes, no grammatical mistakes, that you need to worry, content not a priority, read the question, whatever that comes to your mind related to the question, write it down. It is not going to make a huge difference to your scores, what makes the difference is the spelling. Let us say you write, you wrote an excellent essay with 10 spelling mistakes, you are going to get big golden egg, golden egg, you know that right, tuck, zero. So, it is the spelling and the grammar that you need to pay attention to, it is not just the template. Well, there are some people who comment saying, I used your template, got 90, I will say thank you so much. But the reality is you would have got 20 out of 20, not 90. You would have focused more on the other modules like reading, writing, fill in the blank, listening, fill in the blank, write from dictation that also contributes lot of marks to the writing. This is the reality nobody tells you, but this is the reality. Tip number 3 is very, very important. When you understand this, you give more priority, more time to practice for the other modules. Otherwise, you keep on writing essay thinking I have to get 90 with the essay. Very crucial tip, avoid one word template in 2024, absolutely it is not going to work. Towards the end of 2023, only it started giving surprising scores towards your writing. There are templates where Everything is covered by the template itself. Only one word you need to write the topic. All those not going to work anymore. You need to write four to five sentences on your own with respect to the topic. Do not put multiple keywords like 20 keywords I wrote, but comma, 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 comma. It, the software wants you to write the sentences. It has already recorded every kind of template. <laughs> so, it knows that it has the data. It is expecting you to write something on your own. Right. Can I use the same template for both the questions? Absolutely yes. My friend is using the same template as mine. Will that lead to a problem of plagiarism? No, absolutely no. Because he will write different things inside the template and you will write differently inside the template, isn't it? So, do not focus more on this than just telling you the reality. Work on your English, work on your grammar, spellings, four to five sentences, use my template or any other template which helps you 
write 4 to 5 sentences, not those templates where you put one word and just wash your hands and just walk. After food, we wash our hands and just finish it off now. No, you have to cook the meal, you have to serve others, you have to put the hard work. Then you eat, then wash, then it will digest, then you will get the marks. Hope you are able to relate. All right, tip number four, reading fill in the blanks. Yes, this is going to be the game changer, um, 30 marks to reading. When I say reading fill in the blanks, I also mean reading, writing fill in the blanks, which also gives 30 marks to reading and 30 marks or 25 to 30 marks to writing. Correct. Be prepared for tougher questions. Pearson is evolving as well. Correct. You can't just no, not be so prepared thinking all the questions will be easy. No, it's going to be tougher. It is getting tougher. Good amount of vocabulary, grammar based, has, have, had. Correct. Has been waiting, is waiting, had been waiting, had waited, have waited, has waited. All these things will confuse. You need to learn them. It's getting tougher. Collocations, grammar, reading skills. What is reading skill? You read, understand, but you read fast, you do not understand. Hope you are able to read. Reading skill is when you read fast and still understand the same way when you read slow and understand. So, you need to read at the double the normal speed and still able to catch what it means. Then only the marks will come up because timer is there, correct? You will have less time to solve a question. You read slow, timer gone case. <coughs> reading skills is also about getting to know the meaning of a particular word without looking into dictionary, getting the context and guessing what that word means. This you will get when you improve your reading skills. So read every day, that is it, simple solution. One hour or two hours you read a novel or a newspaper. Grammar in our course, grammar it is vast. Grammar itself we have around 40 hours. So, you can join our course, learn things. Like I told you, it is not like just eating meal, it is about cooking the meal, going to the grocery shop, getting the provisions, cooking the meal, getting the gas, everything and then cook, serve and then eat and then wash the plate, it requires tremendous hard work and discipline. Those who seek shortcuts have seen 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, 6 years over because they are trying seeking shortcut, 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 full of shortcuts in the life, they will stay in their respective country. I have seen people doing it, I am telling you the fact, you need to work hard. It is not an easy exam, probably it is less difficult than IELTS, it is never an easy exam, remember this. Read newspapers and novel at least for an hour. This is the golden tip that I can give you. I want you to focus more on this. So, I am trying to you know tell you very strongly. You need to do this. This is something very important and this requires discipline, dedication and the grit. G-R-I-T. Check the meaning of it in the dictionary. That is that is what is required. The grit is required. Tip number 5. Reorder the paragraph. Do not worry again. Do not give a lot of time for practicing this module. It is not a priority in 2024. Two questions or three, it does not matter, max 4, 5 or 6 marks. It gives. You know the answer, you do the answer. Max 1.5 minute you give. Do not give more than 1.5 minute in the exam because reading fill in the blanks contributes 50 marks, both reading and writing and reading fill in the blanks. This is 5 to 6 marks, not a priority. Even if you get 0 here, you can still get 90. Reading FIB are the priority there, you do not make silly mistakes and do it the best way, you still can get 90. Do not worry too much, I am not saying avoid the practicing. You can practice some questions, but in the exam 1.5 minute and not more than that, you need to dedicate. Remember this, reorder is the low priority module. Tip number 6, listening fill in the blanks is the game changer. Essay, you make some mistakes. Out of 20, you can still get 70. Here, you make mistakes. Out of 12 or 15, you get 0. This is the game changer for the listening and writing both and it is an integrated module. Listening also will be affected, writing also will be affected. There are modules which are integrated like read aloud, repeat sentence, reading, writing, fill in the blank, listening, fill in the blank, write from dictation, highlight and correct words, summarize written text. Rewind the video and just check this through. I will not be able to repeat again. These 8 are integrated, correct? Out of which? Read aloud, repeat sentence, listening, fill in the blank, write from dictation, reading, writing, fill in the blanks. These are most important because these, you know, give you a lot of marks to two modules, a lot. Summarize written text, four marks to reading and four marks to writing, not a priority. Listening, fill in the blank, 15 marks to writing, 15 marks to listening, write from dictation, 40 plus marks to listening, 40 plus marks to writing. All these are important, I am telling you and here what matters is pure English. No template boss, template is not going to help you. Then work on the spelling, no every day, work on spelling. In our course, we have spelling test every day. If you do not want to invest on a course, then use Google Baba, use chat GPT, try the spelling test, work on grammar, work on listening skills. All these require grammar. The developments happened, 
developmental developments. All this you can figure out using grammar and listening skills. Listen to a podcast every day. People are all good in English, but some words they are not able to catch because they have not updated themselves with different accents. Go to YouTube, type podcast about life, about sport. Listen to it. Start listening, listening, listening so that your mind, your ears will get used to, accustomed to, become acquainted to this accent. So, in the exam, there won't be a complaint. Watch English movies. Dedicate yourself to English learning. If it was in your native language, let us say PTE in Punjabi, PTE in India, everybody 90. PTE in English, that is where the problem starts. It is time we accept it, guys. <laughs> we are getting it. All right, tip number 7, right from dictation app. Like I told you, it is the game changer. 40 plus marks to listening, 40 plus marks to writing. You need to have at least 3 to 4 minutes left when you reach here. Right from dictation is the last module, the last final module. An entire listening is timed, not individually timed. Entire listening, they will give you some 30 minutes. When you come to write from dictation, you need to have 3 4 minutes left. If you are having 1 minute left, then you cannot finish 3 4 write from dictations. You will finish 2 write from dictations. The other 2 gone case, score 50 overall, 52 overall, but you have 90 overall ability. How to make sure that I have 3 to 4 minutes left? You have to skip few of the modules. Choose single answer, listening, choose multiple answer, listening, highlight correct summary, select missing word. All these 4, the moment the audio ends, do not give extra 1 second also. You know the answer because you have heard the audio, next button will not be activated immediately. The audio continues for let us say probably 1 minute. After 1 minute audio ends, immediately next button will be activated. You know the answer, select the answer, click next. I do not know the answer. Let me try to understand and you know spare some more 4 minutes. No, no, no. Click one and move on, all these are dummy. If you adopt this strategy, if you employ this strategy, then by the time you come to write from dictation, you will have 3 to 4 minutes left golden technique I am telling you, make sure you watch till the end, have got 3 more extraordinary tips to be followed and write from dictation again spelling listening skills. So, work on it man, spelling test, listen to a podcast. Alright, tip number 8, never exam, never book the exam directly, people do this, I have practiced a lot in these, these websites, I am confident I will book it, do not. Take an official mock from Pearson, it costs you 36 dollars, exam is 6 times this cost and you give exam? get low score, confidence con case. Two days crying, two days no food, no calls, nothing. You do you need this? <laughs> you take official book, record it. I will leave the link in the description or you can go to ptpractice.com, Pearson official mock test link will be there. You just buy mock A, use a good mic Logitech H390 or Platonix, Jabra, HP, any of the good mics and make sure settings are all there all done. Make sure you sit in a noiseless environment, fan, everything should be turned off and take the mock. Only Pearson official mock is valid. Make sure you record the mock. You see the score reports, you have the recording. Use the recording, analyze the mistakes, you yourself will get to know. Whatever the score you get in the official mock, same ditto scores you are going to get in the exam or probably 2-3 marks here and there depending on easy questions or difficult questions, but more or less it remains the same. Official mark from Pearson tells your, you know, tells as to where you stand. Do not take from third party applications. This you can try as many times as you want, but you need to pay each time, but it is one sixth the exam amount, give it a thought. You can record, understand your mistakes, lot many things are there, official mark helps, do not book the exam directly, understand where you stand. In the official mock, if you see your desired score, then only book the exam. Tip number 9, do not believe in myths, go through the repeated questions, you will get all the good scores. First pay me money, do not encourage that. Hey, change the center man, you will get good scores. Book the afternoon slot, evening slot you do not, people are not getting scores. <laughs> no, do not listen. Different countries have different difficulty levels. I am going to India, I think it is best to take the exam in India. In Australia, they will check Australian accent they will check for this accent. Do not you know listen to these myths. I do not know why people spread this probably because they have lot of time, is not it. Backspace button if you enter once in the essay, it will cause low scores in the writing like this. So many are there, do not pay heed to all these things. Work on English, work on whatever I told you will get your scores. The tip 10, do not trust the scores you get in the third party applications because they are not from Pearson. Pearson has not leaked their code correct. How the software exactly works inside Pearson, why will they give man? They have uh, built it with lot of difficulty. Third party applications, you can also build a software, you just need some 2, 3 lakhs Indian rupees, you can take the help from third party applications. So, many third party applications are there. 
they will give you fluency content pronunciation scores. You give them the data, that is it, a speech. You can build a website and do it. I am telling you, it may come little closer to what Pearson gives, but you know, the way the Pearson software works is different, it is always, you can just use them for practice. But whatever the scores you get, do not rely on them. If I practice there, I will get 20 speaking, but I have 90 speaking. It is time we learn the right things. Correct. Do it from official source. Pearson official mock test only will reflect, not this. But you can practice in this. They don't come closer to what you get in the exam. Remember this. I think that's all I've got. I really hope this video has given you a lot of insights and the right direction. Probably you have energy, lot of energy, shoe, gears, everything. But you are running in the you are running in the wrong direction. You will not reach the destination. I believe this video has given you the right path. Make a U turn and run in the right direction. Well, if you like the video, leave your appreciation with a thumbs up and anytime you need online assistance, you can WhatsApp us and subscribe to this channel if not subscribed. Fine guys, with this I will park it here. This is Nakul from Skills PT Academic NAKUL. Um, I am going to see you all soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.